Welcome back to 843 TV. We are joined now by Anne Pufal, who's the director of the Heritage Golf Club. And Anne, welcome. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the Heritage Golf Club. What clubs are included? What restaurants are included? Um, we have four clubs on Hilton Head Island, and um, each club has their own very unique restaurant in it. Um, we have Loggerhead Tavern, which is an oyster reef golf club. We have Robbers Row Grill, which is in Port Royal Golf mm -hmm. Club that's been around a long time. And um, Shipyard uh, has Brickyard Pub soon to open. We're remodeling that right now. And then we also have um, Palmetto Hall Golf Club, mm -hmm. which is just outside of the plantation. Right. I think it's interesting, you know, uh, being someone who's interested in the golf part of what Heritage does, that, that you all have kind of branched out and made this a more, a, a bigger part of, of what Heritage Golf does. It's not just no. 18 holes now. It, well, you want folks to, to not only enjoy before and after, but then come back after. To, well, what to a lot of people don't know yeah. is we're open to the public. You yeah. don't have to mm -hmm. golf. You don't have to uh, be a member, although um, we do have memberships, but it's open to everyone. Mm -hmm. And the exciting thing for me, especially being in um, the food and beverage business and uh, being involved in restaurants for so long is that that's our, a big part of our focus. It's mm -hmm. not just golf. And mm -hmm. I think we all realize that um, we can um, bring more people in and be involved if we have our restaurants open and moving. So we've expanded hours and we're open in the evenings. Yeah. And it's pretty exciting. This is kind of a sneaky little, it's just coming in. <laughs> but, but, but no, as a part of the growing restaurant scene, no. that the golf courses, Heritage's mm -hmm. and others on the island, all have now are, are, are getting they into are. the Everybody's restaurant business. Everybody's branching out a little well, bit. And, and, and they're bringing people, and they've got great food. They've all, they all just do such a neat job. Well, I think it's yeah. a great opportunity because my husband's a huge golfer. Yeah. I don't have time to golf. When I retire, I might. Right. <laughs> but right I now, know. I don't. It takes way too so long. So that type of situation is a perfect opportunity for us, because then I just go meet him at the There you go. Meet yeah. him at the restaurant exactly. afterwards. Right. Right. They all have happy so hour. It, it's fun. It works that way. It works. <laughs> it is. Do you but, need reservations, or is it open to? Uh, no, you can call for mm -hmm. reservations. We do certainly take them. But it's open, and, and we wouldn't turn anyone away. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> who takes there. reservations, that's a good thing. Right, right. right. Yeah, we're thrilled. We're so thrilled that y'all are going to be a part of Chamber Restaurant Week. Well, which is fantastic and there's a you know chamber restaurant week brings out the best in chefs and you all have a new chef don't we you? have a new chef and it's really exciting uh eric Sieglin, who's been around mm -hmm. um at low Siegling. country a long time yes. and he's put actually the menus uh incorporated the menus at all four clubs and built great teams at each club and you'll see as um all his touches in every menu, but each one's unique and different and it ha has a different feeling. Mm -hmm. And so that's why Restaurant Week's so great for us as we just started this mm -hmm. new adventure uh, that the public can come in and try it out. You know, Chamber Restaurant yeah. Week is kind of perfect timing for us. It's a huge opportunity to kind of open everybody's eyes because I know it's very confusing for people, especially if they're visiting or if they mm -hmm. just move here. They think that everything's off limits if it's behind a guard gate. Yeah. So I think right. it's really important it's not, to reiterate yes. the fact that, exactly. yes, all of your clubs are within a gated community, but they are all open to the public. Well, they're all within a community. Not all of them are gated, okay. but but if they are, you can get in. I mean, it's So you it's just go to the, to the guard public. gate and say, I'm going to Loggerhead Tavern. Exactly. And they'll love Which to have really you go. Which is really great. I've tried it. It's amazing what they've done with Loggerhead Tavern. It's so much fun to go. The place is absolutely beautiful. Now, where have redone it. it. Mm -hmm. Loggerhead is it's, Hilton Head Plantation. Yeah, Hilton Plantation. Okay. In Oyster Reef Golf Club, and it's open every evening. It's become very popular among yeah. Hilton Head Plantation residents. It's, a lot of folks go. Well, that's they like a little, little town within itself. Yeah, they can <laughs> yeah. walk their bike there. Yeah. Or, you know, it's, sure. So um, it's exciting. And then at um, Robbers Row Grill in Port Royal, it's not in the gate, but there's such a large mm -hmm. community at Port Royal, in Port Royal, that we certainly get a lot of uh, people from there. But it's nice that the rest of uh, the community know we're open. I think it's unbelievable, and Charlie will stay into this, I know. We live on a 12-mile island. <laughs> the amount of restaurants that are here, the amount of golf courses that are here, and there are no, like, second wins. I mean, right, we right. have, top -notch. we mm -hmm. are surrounded by first-class, wow. top-notch yeah. quality golf courses, restaurants. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really interesting that you guys have 
participated in Chamber Restaurant Week. That's perfect exposure for you guys. It really That's is. Huge. So for people who are more interested, where would you recommend them to go to find more information about Heritage Golf Group and all of your restaurants that are available? They can go to Hilton Head Golf Net um, or dot net. Uh, they can also call us at, um, at our main number, which is 843-681-1700. Um, but we are always, uh, you can find us on the web under individual golf clubs and restaurants or as a whole. So we try to make sure you can and I'm sure you guys are on listed on the room. Chamber's website, And we're too. always Absolutely. on the Chamber's website. Absolutely, on the Chamber's website. and you're on ChamberRestaurantWeek.com. That's those right. Menus, so you can find out just menus, what yeah. Eric Siegeland is actually going to make. Yeah. Which he you know so it's going to be good. good. It Best matter. fried green tomatoes I've ever had. He does. I agree. And those are on our ha every happy hour menu at fried every greens, club. Fried greens, he makes the best. Yeah. I don't know what he does with it, but oh, they're the best I've ever had. He combines food very well. Okay, well, now that I'm officially hungry. Thank you very much Thank for joining you. us. For anybody that wants more information about Heritage Golf Group and everything that that entails, please visit their website and make sure that you come right back for more 843 TV.